One, two, one, two, one, two. I'm sure you're very satisfied to sign off with a win and a good win as well. Yeah, win, good win. Uh, yeah, nice, nice for the fans. Delighted for the players and uh, yeah, pleased. I think it's uh, it's going to put a lot of, a lot of people in a better mood and and more excited. I think about next season. The occasion as well, just to have those back and the the lap of honour was nice as well. Nice touch. Yeah. That... I say all along, the fans have been away too long, 15 months, no one would have ever guessed that that's how long we were going to be playing without fans. Um, and our particular club missed an opportunity to really keep that connection and, and, and grow it strong last season when with a fantastic finish in the Premier League. Uh, but we have to grow it again and, and the, the fans responded today to a, a performance which is very good. The, the players gave everything once again. And I'm delighted we could keep the, the clean sheet and get the three points. And then it sends everyone home with that optimism, I said, for, for next season, because we want that to be successful. Big summer ahead, isn't it? Is it? Do you think major changes need made, making to the team if it's, to, if it's to, to have a crack at the playoffs or above next season? No, not at all. You look at how I look at how it's finished. I think we got, after the Chelsea game, obviously then we had was it nine league games or something, three wins out of nine in the Premier League is respectable. Uh, in the championship it's not enough but the, the gulf in the leagues are big we need to be looking at 20-25 wins next season to, to get us where we want to be uh, and this, these, this group of players can do that but we need an early decision on who's in charge to get the ball rolling get discussions going with players and make sure that we have the group together all driven and motivated to come back and, and perform well three wins in nine games as far as you're aware are you, are you still a contender what 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 what's going forward now Oh, for me personally, yeah, I'll be at the game tomorrow. We've got a 23s Cup final tomorrow, so I'll be there. And then, uh, yeah, I'll be relaxing for a bit with the family and, yeah, just, just feet up. I've, I've not had a conversation with the, with the club about taking the manager's job. You know, I, it's straightforward for me. I know I'll get asked because they put my name on that shortlist. Fine, no problem. Um, but unless anyone phones my, uh, uh, makes a phone call to me, I know what I'm doing. I'm just relaxing for the next few weeks. Sure. Uh, so, one to quick appointment, do you, do you think one will happen? Anyone's guess, I thought we'd have done it by now, listen, I, 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 hope, I hope we get it sorted quick enough, because I've been in the, at this club now long enough to understand what it needs, um, I've been in this position now long enough to know we need someone in charge, and, we, uh, and, it, and it needs it, it needs it, we need leadership, we need someone driving us forward, and we've put myself, the staff, things in place as much as we can in terms of for the players over the summer pre-season next season I mean, speaking to the players whose contracts are up things like that um, but now someone needs to be in putting their own stamp on it because as I said before being being the manager or being interim manager it's totally different yeah. Do you, as regards player contracts then presumably no final decision can be made unless that player wants to leave because it'll be on the head of the, the next permanent man manager, won't it? Yeah, I, I've had discussions with players, you know, you're out with contract players, things like that, about their futures, but yeah, it's up to the club where they make that, that release. I, I've done it because it's only fair. Yeah. Players want to know, players need to know, so I've pushed the club to make sure we have an answer and give them an answer. Um, uh, there's, there's big knock-on effects when you're not making decisions. Not only the players, the staff, the, st the staff not sure what will be happening next season. So from that respect, we need an early decision. Um, but from a performance point of view and getting things in place and being ready to drive things forward, convince people maybe having the head turned that they need to stay, um, yeah, we need to be on top of that. Because there'll be a few of those now, won't there? I mean, I suppose the principal one might be Ramsdale. You know, he's been that good in the last four months that somebody might have noticed. Yeah, everyone noticed him anyway. He's, he's, he's literally just turned 23. England under 21 keeper. My opinion on the verge of the, the full national team in terms of the squad. So, uh, yeah, everyone knows Ramers. Everyone would love to have him. The good thing is he's ours and he's on a long contract. So, yeah, it's, uh, and it has been fantastic for me. Young player of the year, player of the year. Yeah, fully deserved. Uh, just finally, at the, the other end of the age scale, I wasn't entirely shocked to see Phil Jagielka come on. I mean, has a decision may be made about him as to where his future lies or whether he, he retires? No, it'd be, that'll be completely up to Jags. I've had conversations with him that'll stay with him, do you know what I mean? No one else. Um, so we'll just have to uh, wait and see what happens.